How's it going, Chris here? Testing out this Power Add 100 watt foldable solar panel I got. It has the Sun Power solar cells in there, so should be kicking some butt. Got great ideal conditions. Check this sun out. So I'm going to do a power analysis, compare it to my Renergy panels, and see what the, see what the sink can do. There's my two Renergy panels, 200 watts in solar panels, 100 watts each. Okay. Now let's take a look at the test jig here. I'm using the same Hompy solar charge controllers and same GT power analyzers. That's the included cable that came with the power add. Had to clip the alligator clips to safely connect this to the GT power analyzer. And right now it's reading about 33 watts, about 2.6 amps being thrown into the batteries. That load right there is connected to the battery terminals just like the other solar charger I'll show you here there all quick disconnects goes into the Hompy PWM solar charger in bulk mode no funky absorb stuff going on here guys this is all bulk this is full charging capabilities here all right same battery too So let's go over here and take a look at what the two Renogy solar panels are doing. Same power analyzer. Bada bing, look at there. 100 and almost 120 watts eat or uh, for both of them. So about 55 60 watts over 4 amps each <laughs> on those Renogies. Compared to the 32 I was getting out of that power ad. So Huh? What's going on here? Really having high hopes for this uh, power ad with the sun power cells and higher efficiency than monocrystalline and all that. Even got it set up with a great angle, much better angle than the Renogy panels up there. And I got that thing pointed right at the sun. <laughs> all right. So what I did, this is the Renogy solar charge controller. Is uh, I'm gonna show you real quick here. Still putting out about 60, 60 watts each, 55, 60 watts each, well over 4.25 amps per solar panel, okay? And I took off the Hompy solar charger, see right down there? And wired this power add foldable solar panel direct. There's the DC connection. Shows that the light is on, charging, 20 gauge wire directly into the GT power analyzer still getting 32 watts about two and a half amps <laughs> I don't if, if you know what's going on let me know because I have no clue I did contact power ad customer service I went to their website got their telephone number called the number talked to a customer service agent asked to speak with a technical advisor and of course he was in China I said was there a supervisor there or anything like that and she said no sir you gotta send an email so I sent an email with all this technical stuff so if you know anything that you can come up with but I'm scratching my head on what's going on here so thanks for watching guys and uh, let me know what you think later